Due to COVID-19 and the risk associated with aerosol-generating procedures, there is a change in practice when performing NIV. This involves the addition of an extra bacterial viral filter on the exhalation port. To achieve this, it is necessary to set up the dry circuit by removing the filter that comes in the pack and reconnecting it the other way around onto the exhalation port. You then need to open an additional bacterial biocidal filter and attach this filter onto the machine end of the circuit. Setting up of the circuit and the NIV machine is to occur outside the patient's room. The NIV settings will be entered as per medical orders. Once complete, leave the NIV machine in standby mode. Prior to entering the patient's room, ensure that all infection prevention and control procedures have been followed and the correct PPE is donned. Enter the patient's room wearing appropriate PPE and plug the machine into the power point closest to the entry door. Connect the high pressure oxygen hose to the oxygen port on the wall. Mask fitting is to be done with the machine turned off. Correct mask fitting is necessary to ensure maximal therapy delivery and minimise potential risk to staff. Now the idea of fitting the mask correctly is incredibly important with bi-level. How much surface area of the mask makes contact with the patient is also going to determine how big the leak is. So we don't want to use a mask that is oversized or overhanging the patient's face. Using the size guide, rip them off. Excuse me, I'm just going to fit you for a mask today. Now the bottom of the mask should fit under the lip with the top covering the bridge of the nose. Let's have a look at the large. So now this is starting to get into the eyes. Having leak into the eyes is also an infection risk. And it's going to be uncomfortable and prevent the patient from sleeping. So in this case, too hot, too cold, and this one might be just right. Okay, so here we go, remove the straps. And let's have a look. In this instance, I can see the bottom of the mask going underneath. If you could lean forward for me, this around. Now if I could get you to hold that mask mm -hmm. tied onto your face for me, I can adjust these straps. Just adjusting loosely initially, and then to get symmetry, pull both the straps at the same time. Now the mask should be firm so that it doesn't fall off, but it shouldn't be so tight that the seal looks like it's bent. And again, gently placed on the patient. Could you turn your head from one side to the other side for me? Just going to check again that this nose thing looking a little bit bent. Now this part can get bent a little bit more forward or a little bit more back. Okay. I think we'll leave it like that. Once confident that the mask is well fitted and the circuit is complete, exit standby mode and commence NIV. Remember, do not disconnect mask from circuit or remove mask while machine is switched on. Try to orientate the device screen so that it can be viewed from outside the room. Where possible, teach the patient how to turn off the machine themselves. If this is not possible, the machine must be turned off by staff as soon as they enter the room. Once the machine is off, patient care can be attended to. To minimise prolonged staff exposure to NIV, attempt to cluster patient cares and interactions.